me, Lala. Thanks for stopping by to watch another video. Welcome to our new subscribers and welcome back to our subscribers who have been with us for a while. I appreciate your support of me and of our channel. And I hope you enjoy this video. I do. I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you enjoy this video too. It is Tuesday, June 20th, 2017. Even in my wackadoodle mind it is, and I am 100% sure of the date because I just made sure with Louise that today was the 20th, and she said, yes, it is. So I'm not going to argue with Louise. So I hope everybody is doing well. I have missed you, missed you, missed you, and I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who checked on me, made sure that I was okay, asked where I was was wondering where I was, I got sick. And I didn't get a little bit sick, I got a lot sick. Um, it has been a hot minute since we have seen each other. And um, last Wednesday was my last video. So I told you all in my last video, um, a circle time last Wednesday that I wasn't quite feeling very well. My throat felt kind of thick and I, you know, had a little bit of a headache. Well, I knew, I, I just knew that I was getting sick and I kept trying to mind over matter the situation and OTC the situation and it did not work and I got very, very sick. I ended up on the couch all of Thursday, all of Friday and most of Saturday into Saturday, uh, late, late afternoon on Saturday. Um, I have no real memory of Friday. There are snippets here and there that I remember. Um, I did not run a fever. I had a horrendous headache, horrendous headache. Um, I don't suffer from migraines and I wouldn't call it a migraine, but I did have a very, very bad headache. I had zero energy, absolutely no energy at all. I couldn't even muster the energy to sit up, sit up on the couch. I was laying down all the time. Um, my body ached a little bit, but not a, not an unusual amount, no more than usual. And um, I had a little bit of a rumbly tumbly, but it was nothing, um, nothing that, you know, caused any real, real problems. Um, and I just kind of laid there um, and felt really bad for a few, a couple days. And um, Chewy was home, thankfully, on Friday, so he was able to hold the fort down for me here at Lilybug Lane. But um, I do remember, like I said, little snippets of Friday. I do remember. I remember seeing QVC on the TV. I remember hearing Chewy, you know, ask me if I was okay. I remember getting up to use the restroom a couple times. But other than that, I don't have much of a recollection. I started to feel better. Um, Late Saturday morning, I started to feel a little bit better, and I have progressively started to feel better since then. And um, I just want to say that, um, you know, I apologize for dropping off without saying anything. Um, it happened pretty quickly. I, I knew pretty much it was going to happen, though, by, I'd say, late Wednesday evening. I knew I wasn't going to be able to... Uh, to, to push it off any anymore. So um, I have a little bit of a stuffy nose, but I think it is allergies. Um, I'm feeling well other than that. Still a little bit tired, but I think it's going to take a little bit. I don't, I don't get sick very often. Um, I know that I did get sick once this past winter, and it was basically the same thing that happened to me this time that happened in the winter time. Um, you know, I just kind of very quickly, uh, you know, took a downhill turn and was uh, sick, very, very sick for quite a few days. And, you know, although I do have some chronic uh, situations that I deal with on a daily basis, um, otherwise I am in generally good health. And so I don't get colds a lot. I don't get bugs that are going around a lot or anything like that. But, um, you know, I seem to be susceptible to a certain type of, 
uh, virus that goes around and I must have somehow picked it up. So, but thank you, thank you, thank you so much to everyone for your text messages, your emails, your YouTube messages. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I was not able to, um, you know, be on the computer at all because I just couldn't get up off the couch. And so I have been gradually replying to all of the comments that have been left um, since last Wednesday. And I will get to all of the comments eventually. Um, I think I'm up to like six days ago. I'm starting to answer those comments. But um, I miss you all very, very much. And I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. And thankfully, both Chewy and Louise were able to, you know, take care of business here at Lilybug Lane. And I was able to rest and relax. So that was, that was a lot off my mind. That was a lot off my mind. So I just wanted to let you all know, tomorrow morning is our weekly thoughts and prayers request video. If you have any requests for thoughts and prayers that you would like included in our weekly video, please feel free to contact me through YouTube private messaging or at lilybuglane at gmail.com and I would be happy to include you in this week's video that will be um, up tomorrow. Um, and you can also put it down in the comment section if that's easiest for you. Um, but just realize that when you put in the comment section that anything you put in there is public for everyone to see. So if you, you know, if you want to make a request and give me a little bit of a backstory, that would be better to do either through Gmail or private messaging, not on the public forum of the comments, just to let everybody know that. I don't want any information given out that you don't want given out. So I have a couple of things that um, I would like to go over with you today. Um, it's been a while, so let me get back into the swing of things. I was I was so sad this morning. So, um, you know, Louise and I have been enjoying this summer vacation so far, and we've been sleeping in quite a bit. And um, you all know that last Wednesday during Circle Time, I showed you the fabulous patriotic wreath that I did that was inspired by Teresa Branham. And just to put it out there, I saw on Teresa's channel where she has another DIY wreath. So you may want to visit her channel again and look at her thumbnails and she has another DIY wreath video up if you're interested in that. But I am certainly going to be watching it because um, I love to get inspiration from our fellow circle members that have channels and also from fellow YouTubers. But anyway, so I woke up this morning and I was a little bit later than usual waking up, just kind of leisurely did our morning stuff. Beautiful sunny skies today and you know that um, we get the sun rises on this side of the house and then sets on the other side of the house. So the sun is streaming on this side of the house in the morning. And this is where our back door is, our main exit and entrance into Lilybug Lane. We, did, we prefer to use the side entrance rather than use our front door in and out, in and out, you know, all day long. Well, I opened up the kitchen door today and this was laying on the ground in between the kitchen door and the storm door. And this is the bow that I made to go on the patriotic wreath. Now, I had hot glued it onto the wreath just with hot glue. And I think what happened was is that the sun beating on the door this morning heated up you know, made the, the wreath hot and loosened the glue that I had used to put it onto the wreath. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to w take a piece of wire, floral wire, and I'll just put it in the center here and then just, you know, pull it on each end and then just wrap it around the wreath like that. And then that way I won't have to worry about using any hot glue. But just a little tip for you all, if you do wreaths, that are behind a storm door or on a door that the sun beats down, you know, you might want to keep in mind that hot glue will soften and loosen if it does, you know, if the sun is beating down on it and you may lose things off of your wreath that you do not want to lose off of your wreath. So you may want to think about using, uh, 
maybe uh, floral wire to, you know, adhere things to the wreath rather than hot glue or in addition to hot glue. But I will be doing this later tonight, reattaching this bow. But um, that wreath is absolutely easy. I know a lot of you said that you love the wreath. Please, please, please try it. Try the wreath. No, it doesn't have to be for it doesn't have to be a patriotic wreath. If you have a birthday celebration coming up, that would be fabulous to do for to put on the door for a birthday celebration. If you were having a party, you could also do it for a uh, fall. You could add some leaves into the bow, you know, behind the bow, you could add some leaves or something if you wanted to, but it is super super quick, super super easy and it makes a great impact on the door. And it's fabulous to have if you have a storm door because it doesn't have a lot of, um, it doesn't have a lot of width to it. Do you know what I mean? So it's not like it would get smashed in between a door and a storm door like maybe that horrid deco mesh stuff would. I'm just saying it's horrid because I can't work with it. I love the deco mesh and I love everything that people do with deco mesh. I'm just not good at it. So that's why I said horrid. So back off, Jezebel. Back off. Okay. So, um, so anyway, so thoughts and prayers tomorrow morning. So if you have any requests, just let me know. And I would be absolutely happy to, uh, include you in our list. And I do have a, uh, a list going, uh, for tomorrow morning. Um, also to genius, which is the television show that we have been talking about for quite a while here at Lilybug Lane. Tonight is the, is the finale of Genius, the show. It is a two-hour finale on the Nat Geo channel, so that'll be very, very fabulous. And I, I have thoroughly enjoyed watching Genius, as I know quite a few of you have. So I'm, I'm very interested to see how they are going to wrap up the story of Albert Einstein and um, exactly at what point they're going to stop the story. And um, it has been an absolutely fabulous, fabulous series. And uh, I'm just so, so glad that, um, you know, we were able to enjoy it here at Lilybug Lane. And I was glad that I was able to um, share it with you all here um, on our channel and that some of you were able to enjoy it too. So that will be on tonight. And it is a two-hour finale. So that will be fabulous. That will be fabulous. I have a little bit of water here in my Hello Kitty rock and roll cup. Um, I have a little bit of a cough that came up. I don't think it's anything significant. Um, you know, whenever you get something, you always end up with a cough of some kind. And so, you know, I get this kind of like this little itchy, tingly feeling in my throat, and then it'll start a cough. So I have a little bit of water here in my rock, rock and roll Hello Kitty cup. Very, very good. I hope all of our misters had a fabulous Father's Day, and I hope that any of the moms that act as misters in their family, single single moms. I hope that you all had a fabulous Father's Day too. We did go up to my in-laws. I was feeling quite well by Sunday afternoon. Chewy and Louise went up early in the morning and played golf with uh, the family. And then I followed up er late, later in the afternoon. And um, my mother and father-in-law had a very nice uh, banquet dinner, buffet dinner, luncheon for um, the family. And it was a lot, a lot of fun. So I hope everybody had a great, great Father's Day. Um, other than that, I think we will go through uh, the woman's world, which is what we usually do here at Lily Bug Lane on Tuesdays. Um, I know that I have said that we will be out on the patio on Tuesdays, but it's windy right now, and I didn't want to have the wind sound of, you know, the sound of the wind on the video. So at some point we will be outside on Tuesdays, but um, it's 75 degrees here right now, but it's a chilly 75 degrees. We had quite some severe storms come through on Sunday. Lots and lots of thunder, lots and lots of lightning, lots and lots of wind, and Lots and lots and lots and lots of rain. And I'm talking pouring, pouring, pouring rain. 
So um, it has cooled down here, and it is a chilly 75 degrees here. We didn't have a cloud in the sky today. We had a nice breeze blowing all day long. I was able to open up some windows and, you know, air out the house a little bit. And we're supposed to get down into the 50s tonight. So um, definitely, definitely pleasant weather here at Lilybug Lane. I have become so deconditioned. Is that the right word to use? Deconditioned or unconditioned to hot and humid weather. Um, I love hot and humid weather. You know, I grew up in Virginia. We did not have air conditioning where, you know, when I grew up. Um, my parents did not have central air until I left, you know, I left the house. And uh, so, you know, but, but being up here now for 13 years, um, you know, I have become quite unaccustomed to hot, humid weather. So um, as much as I like it, it's becoming a little bit annoying to me, although it, I am getting older too, right? Right. So, so let's go through the woman's world, shall we, for this week? You all know how much we love the woman's world here at Lilybug Lane, and I know that quite a few of you love the woman's world too. If you are not familiar with Woman's World magazine, I would invite you to look for it in the magazine section or at newsstands at your Walmart. Um, it is an absolutely fabulous magazine. It is a dollar ninety nine, and it is worth every single penny of a dollar ninety nine. And I will say, it is one of the least expensive magazines out there right now. And I think for the for the price, you get a fabulous, fabulous magazine. Um, it j recently just went up to a dollar ninety nine. Remember, we had that big thing where it kept it kept like nickel and diming all its way up to ninety nine to a dollar ninety nine. But um, it's a fabulous, fabulous magazine. This is the week of June nineteenth, two thousand and seventeen. Beautiful orange background cover, and then we have the beautiful yet girl with the yellow top on. So that's a nice uh, contrast there, but, and of course, look here, look. Now, Father's Day was Sunday, right? Father's Day was the 18th, this is June 19th, and they have Father's Day stuff in it. Now, you all know how I feel about the fact that the, this issue is dated the day after Father's Day, but it's actually on sale the week before Father's Day. So that's why they have Father's Day stuff in it, but I don't agree with that. I think that, you know, if this is the issue that starts the Monday after Father's Day, there shouldn't be anything in it. The Father's Day stuff should have been two issues ago. Does that make any sense at all? I know Jennifer will understand me because she always does. So anyway, so let's see what's going on this week, shall we? Slimming smoothies, superfood shakes that boost fat burning, double duty insomnia cure, also relieves heartburn. Wrap off 30, look at that illumination. That is fabulous, isn't it? Wrap off 30 pounds and 30 inches. DIY body wraps. Activate fat burning beige fat. Oh, so now there's beige fat. So there's white fat, there's brown fat, there's beige fat, and there's yellow fat. Can I tell you something? So when I was, uh, when I was working, uh, in the ER, um, I was in the ER when they did a tummy tuck on a lady. And let me tell you something. When they peeled back her stomach to do the tummy tuck, the, the fat underneath her stomach, it was yellow. Yellow, yellow, yellow. That's what color fat is. Fat is yellow fat. But anyway, yellow like this top. That's how, that's how yellow it was. It was, it was not pretty. It was not pretty. Anyway, activate fat burning beige fat. Make four inches of belly fat disappear overnight. Rejuvenating tea repairs your DNA. Surprise farm stand cure will make you feel less stressed. All natural antibiotic. Edible flour works like a prescription. Fast fun memory tricks. Never lose your keys again. <sighs> Yeah, and then the Father's Day is bake-ups and Father's Day fun. This coffee mug is a cake. 
which we're not interested in that because Father's Day is over. We love you, boys. We love you, but Father's Day is over. So there we go. So we're going to look at the decor section and we're going to look at the fashion section. So here we go. I think we're going to do some personality insights too in some videos. Remember when we did that? That was a lot of fun. Okay. Okay, here we go. Fill your home with a cheery summer vibe. Start with the sweetness of cottage style, then add bright accents for a light and airy space that urges you to kick back and relax. Okay. Okay. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I know a couple of you will too. I know a couple of you will too. You will like it very, very much. Okay. So we already know some of the things I like, right? It's not hard to figure it out, is it? Of course, I love the windows. I love the windows. I also love the slip covered couch, the white canvas slip covered couch. I also love this ticking fabric on this chair. I think it's absolutely fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. This is really cute too. This is a cube, like a, um, it's called a poof, an outdoor poof, but it's like a footstool. You know what I mean, like a footstool. So you can certainly see the cottage style influence though, right? You can certainly see that. A nice iron bed, that's pretty. And then the cottage style with the um, pillow shams, very, very pretty. And then, let's go to this side. Now, one of the things that I think is quintessentially Southern, but also too, lake house, cottage, whatever, is a sleeping porch. And if you remember in the South, a lot of times in the summertime, they would have sleeping porches. And instead of sleeping in the house where it was hot, they would sleep out on the porches. And this reminds me of that because this is an enclosed porch. But isn't that, a, isn't that absolutely adorable with the bed like that? And then you have the curtains that you can pull for privacy. Very, very nice. And of course, beautiful porch setting right there and the DIY is update old metal furniture with a splash of color so you're seeing greens you're seeing yellows and reds and bright blues stripes florals very very nice very very nice and it's always good to see um, cheery colors like that in this in the spring and summertime and then you want to bring in the warm colors when it starts to get, you know, chilly outside because it just makes you feel warm and cozy. So let's go to the fashion section. La la. Oh, okay. Hmm. Look fabulous and confidence boosting beachwear. The formula for summer fun, simply pair a slimming swimsuit cover-up with an eye-catching accessory or two. It'll leave you feeling confident and comfortable and full of sunny smiles. Hmm. I guess that can be true. If you don't quite feel confident in a swimsuit, then you can definitely put on some pretty accessories maybe a sarong or a cover-up that's nice and like maybe has some sequin on it or some beads or a pretty print or something like that and and you know definitely make yourself feel good a fabulous hat a fabulous pair of sunglasses a fabulous pair of sandals um i think this bag is absolutely adorable and we all know who would love that don't we our sweet louise would love that bag wouldn't she the dolphin earrings are pretty. They're crystals. Um, that is a little bit too racy for me. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be doing that. I would spit my lip. I wouldn't be wearing that, but it's definitely pretty. Um, fabulous sunglasses. 
You want to make sure your sunglasses are nice and big. Not that they swallow up your face, but that they're nice and big so that they, you know, you get good coverage, um, good sun protection around your eyes from your sunglasses. Um, and there's a nice beach hat right there. Um, I would like it without that saying there. Um, this is definitely something interesting. I think it goes with this bathing suit, doesn't it? No, it does not. Oh, it's a bathing suit and a sarong together right there. And then, of course, you have some beautiful um, glitzy sandals. That's always fun. That's always fun. And the, uh, the, the uh, little tidbit is add these clever accessories to your beach bag. Sunscreen, um, a, a cup with a lid, and... A spritzing fan are the three things they tell you to add to your beach bag. So, pretty good. I definitely like the decor section. I always love when, you know, they, they put a twist on, on a traditional type of uh, decor. So, that's about it for this Tuesday. Our time always goes so quick when we are together, doesn't it? It does. Thank you all again so, so much for your kindness and your concern um, for me as I, you know, was not feeling well, but I am feeling much, much better and hopefully we'll be able to pick back up on our regular schedule of videos. Please feel free to leave a comment down below. Again, if you have a request for thoughts and prayers, please feel free to let me know and I will include you in tomorrow's video. You can contact me through YouTube private messaging or at lilybuglane at gmail.com and I would be happy to include you in tomorrow's video or if you would prefer, just put it down in the comments section. I hope that you are happy, I hope that you are healthy, and I hope that you are safe and I will see you all again very, very soon. Good night.